all the skinnies you put in. Right. I'll end up like that, I'm telling you. You would have. Yeah. Huh? Yours are coating your special stuff so come on, don't you? I don't think I have This is Kelly Gospin. Can Elaine please report to the best hotels? That's Elaine to the best hotels. Thank you. because they only had a seat spare for three people and that was what we did. Um, the queue was huge outside, um, but we just sat down and we're, mum and dad just got up to order. Um, it's really nice, and it's kind of quiet and I think um, it's more for like little kids, but I'm a Disney fan, so I came. We also custom made a t-shirt for me, so we did the custom lab. Um, Still film only that because we have to be quite quick because you have to like set it all up on the machine, buy it and then move along to the next person. Um, but yeah, it was it's really good so far. It's huge and there's two floors for women, one floor for kids, one floor for men, a beauty parlour, a barber's, um, a hairdresser's, um, so it's really big and I we've been here for like a good, a good few hours. The time is now 35 minutes past two and we got here about 11 so we've been here for no joke about three hours now and uh, my feet are killing my back is hurting and my neck and shoulders are at the point of like collapsing but here I am in the Disney cafe so we sat at this little table it's got like Mickey and that on it uh, with these chairs and surrounded by like little booths and that so I've, I'll give you a like preview I'll show you all around of it I have done already um, so yeah I'll, I'll talk about all my experience and I'll show you everything I got when I get back <laughs> Look at Mum's skewer. It's 
in the shadow. You got the shadow. No, it's your arm. Ah, thanks, Mum. Blue bar, anything? No! Uh, we did the right thing, too. No, we didn't. Wait, what? You're not. You're not. Oh, oh, the well, red all these anyway. Yeah, darling. Sorry. Like I'm vlogging. It's a job. Wait, are we down here? Is it on this level? Yes, yeah, down here. It's what? down one. Down. Sorry. A big one, but like really nice, isn't it? Oh my god, don't look at any more clothes. Well, that's a nice dress, isn't it? I have to come back here for another time. Is it as long as you'll let me, like, you should let me. Ch we should do a video for my YouTube channel where you let me pick out a full outfit for you. <laughs> but that is this way, this way, this way. We went completely the wrong direction. life centers anymore because I just think about them keeping them all in there and I hate it. Yeah. Part of me doesn't like it anymore. No. So we just went to the new Primark place. Well how was it mum? Van Duffy Dozy. We just had waffles. It was like the best. Yes. Wow. <laughs> now we're trying to fail on a final way back because it's look it is slippy mum feel your foot against that. I'm going to set a track somewhere. Maybe a bit. Yeah. Wait, we came home from this way. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Both the same place. Oh, yeah. And my mum spent like a lot of money on me. I'll show you them all when we get back. Oh, it's go. Oh, right, wait. I'm a bit scared. Wait. Walking up here, I'm a bit concerned. We're coming down the slope. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna slip. We could have just gone in that entrance. We could have done the same thing to inside. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh. 
I am now home, guys. Um, I got back about like five minutes ago. Um, excuse my hair, <laughs> it looks pretty atrocious. It's kind of got itself really ugly by the end of today. Um, we have literally, like, literally just got in, and um, I just thought I'd do my little quick haul for you guys um, on what I picked up at this big Primark. Honestly. I think I went a little quicker than I expected. It felt like it flew by today, which is really weird because I think we spent at least about uh, four hours, four hours in Primark, in this Primark. Whereas when I went with my auntie last week, we only spent two hours in Primark and it felt like I was in there forever. So we were in this Primark for longer than I was in the Primark with my auntie last week and yet the one with my auntie seemed to feel longer. Um, even though in this Primark we were in there for an extra two hours than I was with my auntie. Um, I think it's because it, it didn't feel as long because I was doing like various things like I went to a cafe in Primark so like an hour of that was in the in the cafe and waiting in the queue and because I think it also felt a little bit long with my auntie because I'm not that close to my auntie so I was always kind of like quiet and awkward and I just felt like I was like in there forever because I just wasn't like in com communication like I wasn't really like full, f uh, as enjoying myself as I was when I came today with my mum and dad um but there's five levels but you don't go up all five levels I thought like it was like five levels of women's kids and men's or on the like all five levels but it wasn't there they have like, they do like levels in terms of like level one, level two, minus one, minus two, um, kind of thing like that. So, um, one of the layers was just all men, so I cut out one of those five layers anyway, so I didn't have to go to other five layers, I only had four layers. So it goes between, one of them was just a cafe and a barber's, which again, I didn't need to go to the cafe or the barber's, so I cut that out, so I only had three levels. Two levels were the women and kids, so me and I went around those two levels and the other level was for... No, women's, just sorry, just women's. And then uh, a final level was um, kids and just kids and then the Disney cafe. Um, so we went, we only went on that level then for the cafe, not for the kids because I've outgrown the kids' clothes. So in the end, I think we only really went to about two levels for actual clothes and uh, only one other level for um, the cafe. So two levels out of five um but on like various levels um there was like like i think on the men's one there was the barbers um and then um on one of the two women's floors there was this it's called duck and dry after like donald duck um which is a beauty parlor slash hairdressers um and then there's also a Disney cafe and another cafe. So there's like various bits filled into those levels. Um, and also I've changed now into pyjamas because I have, since the last time I vlogged, got a terrible headache. And I think it's starting to form into a migraine. And I suffer with medical headaches anyway. Like I get headaches like at least three times a day and then migraine at least once every day like every two weeks every no it's kind of, kind of going once every week um so i've been to the had to go to the doctors about it and i've got like a medical problem um so whenever i get a headache it's much worse than everybody else's headaches it's not nice um and it's really killing me right now but I want to show you guys what I got from this Primark because I was so excited to go. Um, I still kind of went because I think it's only been like about a week maybe, a week or a little little bit more, like a week and a half or something like that um, since the big new Primark opened up in the Bullring Grand Central. So even a week and a half later it is still packed like when i went in today me and my mom suffer with like claustrophobia and we went in today and me i literally felt like i was gonna faint like all the way around because it was that like, crammed um it was really bad like it was really really like hectic and like just not good um so but if you're you don't suffer with claustrophobia then you might be all right but if you're also kind of one of those people that like gets really um agitated or like um bothered by having a lot of people surrounding you because you're like move or 
why can't I get to this place? Or it just frustrates you when there's a lot of people in the shop then you might not want to go to the new boring um, Primark uh, for a couple more weeks because it is still jam packed. Like it got to the point where like I lost my mum in that shop at least 10, t 10 plus times and also to the point where my dad just got that like like that kind of lost from me and my mom that he just actually went out of the whole Primark in the end and went down to get a coffee um, because it was that like packed um, but we're gonna start with the haul so I'll show you firstly okay. how many so I've got two bags two full bags um, and we're gonna go a bag at a time because I can't fit them both on my bed so I'm gonna leave I can't really remember like what I got first I know the first top I got and kind of like what sections I went to like um, from there so I'll just go through from what I can remember getting like can remember getting can first remember getting firstly and then I will um, like kind of like branch out after that so this also I'm gonna save this till the end because this I want to talk about this because it was so much fun this is from the custom lab uh, which I will talk about in a minute so I don't know what bag my first top is in, like I don't know, this might be it, wait, bear with me, and also I don't know if my mum's left her receipts in here or if she didn't ask for a receipt, I don't really know, um, so if there's a receipt in there I will kind of go into detail about how much it all costs in the end. Um, Bearing in mind, I have got a lot of stuff, and Primark is a really affordable shop. That's why everybody loves it. Also, because it's very, um, very versatile. Um, can I just say right now, I have two, two big Primark bags, obviously from this trip, and then I have my other two gigantic Primark bags from last week uh, in my bin. So my bin is like literally overflowing. I will show you. So these two bags are from my shopping trip into Primark last week with um last week with my auntie and then this this bag and this bag are my two gigantic Primark bags from today. Sleep, this is what I'm lying next to like an overflow so of let me get everything out for you out of the Primark bags because like it's just gonna be easier to go through them and show you prices i'll show you each price and if i'm feeling up to it because i have got a headache right now and depending how long i want to wait to up to upload this if my camera will focus if i'm feeling up to it and my I decide to I will include um, shots of me wearing everything I show you like every single one I'll do like a little cameo shot if I'm feeling up to it because I have a headache right now and it depends if I am feeling up to if I'm feeling up to like putting every single thing on taking a taking a little video of it then taking everything off uh, i might do that later in the week okay so i found the first thing i got um i'll show you i'll maybe I'll insert in the clips at the top but basically uh, you guys might you don't you guys don't know this but in september this year um as a birthday gift this from february this year because my birthday is in february so my birthday's already been um, i'm now 16 um in september this year as a surprise birthday gift from my mum and dad I have two tickets to see Ariana Grande um, and I'm really excited in the Birmingham Arena um, I had no idea and there's only two tickets so I was going to go with my mum but I'm now going with my best friend Jay who you all know off my channel um, so, so as soon as I saw it as soon as I walked in I saw this top and I said to my mum I was like oh I'm, I really like the colour of it I like how it looks and that would be a really cool top to wear to her concert um, because it has on the front of the top excuse the bad lighting I'm going to take the um, the little um, thing off it but look it says Ariana on the front it says Ariana Grande Sweetener uh, 2018 and um, that's like at 2018 because that's when her album came out and then on the back it has 
Sweetener because that's her song and then lyrics from her song. So the lyrics says, oh, it just has all the songs that are on her Sweetener album. So it has Raindrops and Angel Cried, Blaze, The Lights Come In, Rem, God Is A Woman, Sweetener, Successful, Every Time, Breathe In, No Tears, Left To Cry, Borderline, Better Off, Good Night and Go, Pete Davidson and Get Well Soon. So they're all her songs off her Sweetener album and um, I'm going to be listening this tour that she's doing or this concert that I'm going to is part of her tour for her Sweetener um, album and like her twoest, her two newest albums so her newest album and then the one before that and um, she's gonna obviously include some of her old songs but um, they're just it's mainly for those two so Sweetener's pop part of that because it's not her most recent album but it's the one it's the like the one before um, her recent so I thought I can wear this to the concert because I really like the colour and um, it had my size and I just thought it'd be like a good thing to wear to her concert um, seeing as I'm probably going to be wearing like black jeans with it so I got this in a 12 to 14 because that's what I am I range from like a 10 to 12 to a, a 12 to 14 and the um, cost of this the cost of this top was, I'm trying to look at the price, it's taking me forever. The cost of this top was £8 and I've just realised now that I think Ariana Grande has a, her own collection in Primark because it says here, Ariana Grande, let me just put my little focusing on. Let me see if I can show you, just placing it here because, you know, why not? Look, focus on that. It says Aaron, focus on me, get it? It says Aaron Grande, so I think this might be her collection. But yeah, I really like it and I think I'm going to insert a cameo shot okay. now. So then me and my mum kept walking after that sweetener Ariana Grande t-shirt, um, which by the way, if I didn't say already, it's £8. Um, and we kept walking and then we came to a section that was based off the TV show, the very popular TV show, Friends. If you don't know what Friends is, look it up and watch it. It's amazing. Um, it's an amazing show and it's so funny and it has that many like series because it's that popular um it's based in america but like it's like it's just very popular just a very popular tv show if you haven't heard of it we've been living under a rock um <laughs> and t make sure you look it up and like have a watch of it even if it's just like one or two episodes because it gets you really hooked um i have known about it since I was like old enough to know like when I, since I was old enough to you know kind of like n understand that sort of information I got introduced to it and watched it with my family and it was honestly the funniest and when thing. I was with my auntie um last week in a Primark in Sheffield um I was looking through all the friends um, kind of stuff and I didn't manage to get any of it in the end because um, because I just like got distracted by other things and then ended up using all my money up um, but I really wanted to get this one top that was in Primark um, from that store by friends but um, it, they didn't have it in my size so I was scouring through the friends stuff and I couldn't find the top that I wanted but then I found this jumper and I wanted to get something from um, from the TV show friends um, because I love it and I haven't got anything from the friends selection collection um, so let me just show you a little label So, yep, Friends TV show. And honestly, this is like, I think this might be the softest jumper I've ever seen in my life. And, you know, I have jumpers from bougie shops like Topshop and Calvin Klein. And this is so soft. Like, so soft. Like, the material on the outside is the kind of stuff that you want to, like, kind of squidgy material that you want to squeeze. I wish you could feel this right now. So, it's basically like, I like to say it's like a navy blue navy blue navy blue it's like a kind of like a dark bluey darky navy blue but it doesn't look like darky navy blue because it's also got like a hint mixture of um of i 
of grey mixed into it. Um, so it kind of looks like this colour. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. So yeah, it's this kind of lovely colour. Um, and it just has Central Park on the middle of it. Oh, let me lift you up. Bear with me. It's like me trying to figure out. It just has Central Park on it and it's like red and got red and green in the middle and it's very soft so I got this in a size 12 I believe yep 12 to 14 again and this was 10 pounds but honestly I think I'll treasure it forever with a pair of blue jeans and my white Nike Air Forces because it's so cozy so cozy and I like I think this might be one of my favorite purchases if I'm being honest I know bit vanilla jade but that's kind of how I roll. I'm a bit of a vanilla person in terms of clothes. So that's the next thing I picked up and then it's kind of a bit hazy from here on out on what I got in what order but I remember and up to like right till the end this is the only Disney thing I got considering my room is Disney and whenever I go into a Primark I will usually buy more Disney stuff than anything else uh, or any like any plain stuff um this is the only thing i got so after that i remember now after this fr after friends jump out i just was scroll ro um, strolling over to this little table and they had as of shorts and i think um like half of this table was t-shirts as advertised and then half of it was just shorts so i don't even really know if these are pajama shorts i'll just shorts that you can go out in but they look to me more like the kind of pajama bottom um kind of shorts even though the things next to it were not pajama tops they were just normal tops um but this is in like a mustard yellow and it is in 12 to 14 so at a nest or they class it as that that's a medium um and basically when i went with my auntie i bought a night shirt like one of those gigantic shirts that you can wear to bed which is like called a night shirt and um, kind of looks a little bit like a nighty but it's like made to look like a shirt um and i got one in mustard yellow from primark and it says honey on it but not spelt like h-o-n-e-y like you would in winnie the pooh but spelt h-u-n-n-y like honey um like you're calling someone honey but it had like winnie the pooh all of it just like to take like just like a mispronunciation of words it's like meant to do that and so i thought well if i feel a bit uncomfortable just wearing my nightshirt and i know like i'm going to be like swinging my legs around or i'm at sleepover with my friends and i don't want to just have nothing underneath my nightshirt just in case my nightshirt lifts up and i don't want people to see my you no know, my pants underneath if i'm like with my dad's of my family and i lie weird so i just bought some like kind of matching um shorts to go underneath it because it says honey on it spot like it's you know um so these were four pounds and they're gonna look great with my night shirt so these are four pounds and i haven't tried them on yet but they're really comfortable um so yeah i think i'm gonna just film every like camo shot or o -t -o -o -t -d, um shots of them afterwards because I've just filmed one of them and I just thought it might be easy to do the rest of them afterwards but I got these four pounds cheap like great price four pounds for a pair of shorts that you can wear underneath any kind of clothes if you wish or if you want to go against you know what they're actually made for and wear them out <laughs> wear them out <laughs> I might but yeah love the colour I'm obsessed with mustard yellow at the moment I have this like thing with mustard yellow my mum kind of hates it but I love mustard yellow. I'm addicted to Winnie the Pooh at the moment. I don't know what it is, but like last week I bought so many Winnie the Pooh. Um, bought so many Winnie the Pooh things. So four pounds, 12 to 14. Amazing. Right. The next, the next thing, thing I got, got um, now now it's gone completely hazy. All I know is that we went to the denim jeans section afterwards. So all the, all the denim stuff I probably got next. Um, so, the first thing I wanted to get was some white trousers, like some white jeans, because I don't have any, I have black jeans, I have one pair of black jeans, like, I had, well, up to now, I had one pair of skinny black jeans, and like, three pairs of denim, um, but one of my denim jeans looks a bit old now, a bit worn and torn, so now I have like, 
10 pairs of denim jeans still one pair of black jeans but i love my black jeans because they were from Topshop, um and i really couldn't be bothered to get some black jeans from primark because i don't really like the black jeans in primark um i probably still get, get them from other shops um but i wanted some white jeans so <laughs> Because I think I, I had someone when I was like younger and then never got any ever again because I was just like, no, I so don't want white jeans. But all oh, everyone in my year group is starting to get into white jeans and I don't know if it's becoming like a new trend, but I thought I'd just like hop on my get some white jeans just in case I thought something might go with them. So these are the jeans I got um, from Primark. I got them in a 12. I'm like, basically a lot of the things you'll see will either be a 10, um, what, like will be like a 12, 14 on the odd chance that it would be like like um a 10 or a 16 is like rare but there might be a case where bit rude Um, so yeah I just thought I'd get on board with the trend so I picked up these and a compared few because I quite like um, skinny jeans high-waisted I love a pair of skinny high-waisted jeans they're like my favorite type of jeans and um, my second favorite type of jeans are ankle grazers um, who, um, in terms of rise I like them high rise as well or mid rise I don't really like those right jeans anymore because I'm pretty like um, like the one thing I'm like the one self-conscious thing I'm self um, conscious of on my body is my stomach I hate it I think I hate my stomach it makes me really uncomfortable um it's the one thing that makes me really but unbodily confident um so um high rise or mid mid rise is like the only things I can really wear now um I wear low rise jeans every now and again because I think I have like one pair of low rise jeans but I try and get like mid rise or high rise um so I tried this. I looked at the skinny um, high rise and the skinny mid rise versions of the white jeans, and I just didn't think they really suited the right the white jean kind of style. I don't think they really looked very good with white jeans to be skinny. Um, so I went for my second favourite, which was an ankle grazer style of wet white jeans because I thought with my like white shoes um, at an ankle graze they look pretty good. So I picked up in a size twelve for. £13, so like the priciest thing so far, um, a pair of white jeans and also the skinny jeans of the white jeans, the skinny versions of the white jeans looked um, really kind of not white, they looked more like a cream colour and I wanted like pure white if I could help it or white as they could get. So I got the ankle grazers um, and I couldn't find ankle grazers in high rise so I got the next one which was mid rise so I got ankle grazers in a mid rise so they go up like about halfway up your stomach um, so they're not low, they don't show your stomach off completely but they show a little bit of your stomach which I could just about deal with. Um, so yeah, I just got myself a pair of white jeans and what I liked about these is they didn't have like rip rips like full-on rips But like I don't know if you can see but like here They've got the odd like just little tiny tear so it looks like a little rip But it's not like a proper rip rip that you put your that you can put like your hand through um And the bottom they had like like quite like I like this kind of style at the bottom It's kind of all ripped and very torn at the bottom which I really liked and um, so I picked up these that's the, like the first pair of jeans I got said to my mom wants some white jeans some good white jeans because I don't own any so put them in um so that's the next thing I got then I started going on a denim jean madness I've got like I bought like three pairs of jeans from Primark today and I don't wear jeans like if you met me like only like a year ago if you met me like a year ago um, since I was born to about, well, obviously when I was born up to like, when I, up to the age where I could start styling myself and choosing my own clothes, my mum would put me in jeans. But as soon as I could, from the age that I could like dress myself, which is I guess about not, um, eight, um, until the age of 15, so yeah, like last year, um, no, 2017, so until I was about 14, eight till 14 leggings that's all i ever wore i did not own and i'm not even joking to you a single pair of jeans not at all because i hated jeans i hate how they felt and i just didn't 
felt comfortable in them and I didn't want to wear them so I wore leggings and leggings and leggings and it drove my mum insane and then one day I noticed how beautiful my best friend Jay looked in all her jeans and I just felt like every teenager was wearing jeans or at least owned a pair of jeans and so I was just being the odd one out and that's why I looked so ugly because when I was younger I used to think I was I looked ugly um which I still do but just like, not as much um so I demanded my mom that we bought me a pair of jeans so she bought me a pair of jeans uh not the best jeans they're the old ones that I kind of have now um she bought me a pair and I have not been able to turn back since I love my jeans I still own leggings, I still own have pairs of leggings, but I think there's only one pair of leggings out of like the five pairs that I own that I wear, and that's because they're top shops, so they're kind of nice leggings. But only then I wear them like every I once looked, in a blue. I actually ended up been only buying two pairs of jeans in the end, those white ones and one pair of denims. And I don't think it's because um I like didn't go and do the den big denim splurge that I said I did. I think it's because I put like six pairs of jeans in. And then one by one, suddenly took like four pairs or three pairs out, um, five, like four or five pairs out as I went around because I found better things I wanted to replace the jeans. Um, so I think I ended up buying two jeans, but I did go on a denim search and put in like seven pairs at the beginning. So I ended up getting one pair of denim jeans and I got these ones, which are ankle grazers again mid-rise and uh again in a 12 but these are like a dark denim blue and um they have again just like the little um little like rips but not like big enough that you can put your fingers in or anything they just look like they've been slightly ripped and they have no holes either which are my first jeans without any rip holes in foot near the kneecaps and again they have these like really teared um like like ripped um like bottom which i really like so these were also um if i am correct i think these were also 13 pounds so i picked some of these up um so now i have like you know a new pair my first pair of white jeans and also another pair of denim jeans so after that <laughs> completely completely i swear after the denim section i had no idea in what order i bought things but I recall buying a lot of stuff from the denim section and I know it was like seven pairs of jeans and I like got rid of like maybe about five of them, five pairs of them in the end. But I also did buy some other denim related things with the, that were in the denim section that weren't actual sh jeans. So I have a bit of an obsession, uh, it's just kind of like my style so that's why I'm obsessed with them. Um, I'm obsessed with dungarees. I have this thing that since I first got my first ever pair, I have been in love. My first ever pair was just some plain ones and I outgrew them, obviously, as you do. And I had to give them away and I was so upset because they were the only ones I owned and I loved them so much. I wore them at every possibility, like even in the winter. I would just put tights on, no matter how steady I looked, I'd put tights on by the, underneath the shorts just so I would still be able to wear them um, because I didn't get some like full length ones. Um, so <laughs> I loved them and then I gave them away and then I got another pair and this second pair, this most recent pair that I got, I loved um, because it had like patches on it of like flowers and smiley faces and it looked really cool. So got some of them. Then I outgrew them and it got to the point where I love these ones, those ones that much that I would try and squeeze myself into them to the point where one day I tried to squeeze myself into it and I got, because I was that, obviously that they were that too small for me that I broke the zip on them because I like put myself, my body in it, tried to zip it up and like, like it's like busted open and I broke the zip um, because I tried to fit in them for that long and stretch them out that long so that I could wear them. Um, and I ended up giving them to my mum even though the zip was broke because she said she was going to like, like, um, she was going to try and work with them and fix them. But in the end she had to get rid of them because she couldn't fix the zip and making, without the zip it made them feel really loose on her. So she gave her a lay and then I didn't have any, I've not had any for weeks. So when I went with my auntie, the plan was to make a list of the things that I needed um, instead of wanted because that's like usually I never make a list of things that I need and then I always just get like things as I go around and then at the end I'm like oh darn it I should have got some of this because I actually needed that 
Um, so this time I made that time with my auntie last week I made a list and I got some things. The thing I wanted was some denim dung some dungarees um with a skirt and a dungarees with shorts because the classic dungarees are with shorts but you can also get um ones like in a skirt form um now and you can get full length ones but i've always just known dungarees to be like shorts and skirts um so when i was with my auntie i managed to pick up the skirt version but i could not find any denim uh, de like dungarees original like short ones that i liked when i was with my auntie so i said to my mom like the main thing to get is some denim like some dungarees um original so uh, some short ones and uh luckily just happened to be in this obviously in the denim section with the jeans i saw some denim ones um some denim dungarees um why do i keep saying denim in front of it like dungarees are only the only dungarees that i know in the world then are made of denim like they don't really have any other material i don't think put in the comments below if you know dung that dungarees if dungarees are made in any other material apart from denim i'm just gonna say stop saying denim because i think that's the only how many times have i just said denim oh my god i said it again right um i saw some dungarees with like the short version so the original version and i didn't just buy them for the sake of buying them i actually really liked them uh, so i said to my mum mum I'm putting them in the basket. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I know we've only been like around like this much of one level and we've got like three other levels to get through and I'm really nearly going through my budget. I was like, but I need to get these. I was like, because I don't have a short version. So, these are what the dungarees. shorts look like this. They are a little big for the shot, but I'll try and get them in. Um, so obviously they're just the classic dungarees. They have like the little front pocket, the, the little straps that you put over, um, the little like denim things. And then they have the zip down the side and just the shorts. And I like them because they look a little bit like, I've got a little, like an actual rip this time, like when you put your finger through and then little ones that you don't, really can't put your, them through and obviously there's different shades of denim that you can get you can get like a really light wash of denim and you can get really dark washes of denim and i kind of like the one that's in between so like not the one that's like really light but another one that's like really dark so like kind of like this um color denim love this color denim especially for dungarees so i saw, I saw them saw the ripping them saw they had the pock the big hole and the classic little button where um the raised button kind of version of it and the zip at the side and i was like i'm getting them so can you guess what size I got it in? <laughs> I got it in a 12. 12. And I got them in a size, th um, no not a size 13, a price 13. Um, so it was £13. And so yeah, I picked this up and this is in a colour light blue. Um, so I really like these. I really can't wait to, wait to wear them. Love them so much. They are my like favourite. The next thing I picked up was again some form of dungarees because um obviously there is more different types of dungarees than just a skirt dungaree and then the original short dungaree. Um you can get dungarees in the kind of painter-esque type dungarees, which are like basically like all in one. So basically it's like you've got jeans on kind of type. Um, so I originally put two um, of them in my basket. I put one in black and one in a, just original denim, um, blue denim. Um, and then I decided I have blue denim um, like in a lot of like blue denim and a lot of different things anyway like jeans and like a skirt and short bum of dungarees. So to get the black version for a change because we also saw later on some um, dungarees which were got disney stuff on them um so even though they weren't the long ones we replaced them so the black dungarees look like this and i'm a bit like <laughs> kind of in love with them um i believe they were the most expensive thing out of all the things i bought so these were 17 pounds it might not be actually 17 pounds and so they just obviously look like right let me just untangle these because nobody wants that and um, obviously they just look like the original um you better just, just see this because I'm not gonna focus but look they just like the original denim jacket jeans apart from the front bit looks the same um but it's just how they like they they, they form into actual jean jeans and um, look and they go like 
all the way to the bottom they're full length ones and they're in black so i got them in a, like a different color for a change and these are 17 pounds and i got them in the size 12. i have just realized that the denim original ones in the shorts um I got a size 16, which is uh, two sizes bigger than what I actually am. Um, because on the hanger, I said a 12, and I didn't look at the label. And so we're not going to tell my mum about that, because she's going to have a fit. So I've just got to see if they fit me or if I can fit into them. And if not, then I'm going to have to wait for a while to grow into them and just make up some sort of excuse, because I got the wrong size. That's not the next thing I got when we moved away from the denim section. Um, we actually went and explored like a few more places um in like terms of like dresses and tops i think at this point um we actually went up a level because actually went we went around everything else on that level and we didn't i didn't really particularly find anything i liked or like wanted so badly so i think we moved up a level uh, some things i definitely knew i know i got at the end um looking at it so i got this top at the end i'm gonna put the things i got towards the end at the bottom because I mean over here because then I can just show you as we go and then I don't have to worry about getting them all mixed up. Um, so, well, what the hell? Oh, yeah, it's alright. I wonder what top that was then, but I know what top that is. Um, so then we kind of went up a level and I found some more stuff I like. I think the next thing I saw um, was these two, uh, this dress. And this dress I saw... And my mum really, me and my mum didn't really know if it was worth getting it, you know, wasting however much it was. Let me just look at the label. Um, wasting £10 and then me deciding that I didn't really like it in the end. So we decided that we'd look at them, um, see if it was kind of like suited me and if like which different pattern I liked the most. And then we said we'd go around the rest of this level um, and then come back towards the end and see if I still wanted it. So we went around the whole level. I picked up a few things along the way at the level, but then I did come back for the dress in the end and I had to choose between two different patterns. And in the end, I chose this one. So in the end, we got this dress which I really like I think it kind of reminds me of Belle so it's kind of like your just classic like little pinafore kind of um, I don't know what you'd call it like ballesque I don't know what kind of type of dress this is if you know what type of dress this is let me know now in the comments but it's kind of like a made kind of dress style um and it was 10 pounds and i got it in a size 12 i'll get it right this time and i got it in this pattern this checkered blue pattern and there was one that was like lines and all different like multicolor. but in the end we and mum went for this one um so i really just like the style of it and i think it looked really nice and it's got like a little bit of a stretch on the back so for 10 pounds with some like some heels or some sandals or something it would look really nice so i picked that up cool and now I'm just putting this other bag because I did not un underestimate the bag sizes of Promark. And then, as I said, I went around other levels and I know a lot of a lot of teenagers are kind of like me, not just teenagers, adults as well, and younger kids, but teenagers especially love a good slogan tee. So a slogan tee is just basically like a plain t-shirt with like a sentence or a quote on it um because they look really simplistic but they are so nice and i went round and um what they usually do in certain areas of primark is they have like four wall three walls and they'll put like loads of t-shirts and skirts or trousers um all together on like this like one wall and if you think about it each one of these different items so there's like this t-shirt it had like this t-shirt and then it had like a skirt underneath it and then it had like some shoes also to the side of it and then a hat on top of it and what they're trying to do there is create a whole outfit for you so you can just all pull off like one outfit from like one wall um but that's not me i don't do that so i just found saw this wall and i saw this and i was like oh it's very simple plastic and i've never really got anything this simplistic so it's basically just a plain white tee and then in like my like favorite kind of font it just says just says talk to me talk to me and it looks a bit boring but with some blue ankle grazing jeans and my white nalik air forces and little white bow Oh my god, doesn't it look incredible? Wouldn't it look incredible, people? Tell me it looks incredible, you know it'd be incredible. And I haven't really got anything this simplistic, but I know a lot of people like slogan tees, and it just called out to me. And for £4, 
I think it's pretty good. And I just said to my mum, I was like, nope, I've got to have it. I was like, I can just imagine an outfit for this. And uh, I love it. So I got it in a size 12 to 14 for four pounds. Love it. Just a plain white tee with a little cute slogan. Talk to me. Talk to me anytime. And then next to that, I saw a black one. It doesn't have talk to me on it though. Just a plain black tee. But this one says on it, we just want we want just we just want to change the world we just want to change the world and i don't really like the font i don't really like the the st style of font for this but again plain black tea lovely little quote lovely little like sentence and for four pounds in a 12 to 14 with some black jeans and my vans incredible okay so the next thing i got was this and i've already got one of these in a different pattern like the exact same clothing item just in a whole different pattern so basically it's called a maxi dress what's it called a midi dress no i think it's called a maxi dress and basically it's like just a little dress like this wait no this way just a little dress like this and um, but it goes all the way down and um, down to like the bottom of your legs but somewhere in the dress it has like a little leg slit um so i have one of these in pink and it's got like daisies all over it white daisies so i saw the this pattern of it um when i was with my auntie but i didn't get both because i thought i'd get this one when i was with my mom so i just got the other one to go with it um and i wore it out the other day um i don't have any photos of it actually but i wore it out my pink one out for the first time of the day and everybody gave me such good compliments on it because apparently it really suits my body style and um, so i decided to get the other one because i really like this pattern they have a few more i think they have like four different patterns but they were the this one and the pink one were the only two i liked so i got a size 12 because that's where my other ones is and they were thir 13 pounds but they are really good with a little denim jacket and nike air forces or some black boots they look insane and for 13 pounds why not why not so next i bought some shoe liners or ankle trainer socks if you want to call it so they're just um trainer socks because i only have like three pairs of trainer socks um so i need to get some more because i always have to reuse the same <laughs> the same trainer socks like these trainer socks that i'm wearing now have been i've worn about twice this week and they are very sweaty and gross so i got me some more and i decided to get some white ones and some black ones because when i wear my black ones with my nike air forces which are white they look really stupid so i got some white ones as well which i've never had before um and the white ones were two pounds and the black ones were two pound fifty the only reason these were 50p more is because these were re these were reinforced ankle and toe ones whereas these were just plain shoe liners which means these ones are going to be a little more um comfortable and a little more like hardcore on the ankle and the toes areas and um, whereas this one's are like not going to so these ones are just slightly better but um yeah so just picked up some socks and um, from there so black ones two pound fifty white ones two pounds and then this is like the most the the clothing item that i'm most unsure about out of all the stuff i got today it's a skirt and it makes me look like nancy drew and i really like it because i just like the style of this skirt like i love the bow i love the style of it. the only thing that i really i'm a bit unsure about is the way it's gonna look on me and if i'm gonna like want to reach for it out of everything i have in my wardrobe but for 10 pounds i think i can pair it with something and wear it for when i go out so it looks really nice the last thing um the next thing i got was this t um top um and you know the maxi dress i showed you um let me just get the maxi dress back out so i can just tell you about it so the maxi dress I said that there was a different pattern i got one other pattern which was a pink with daisies on it well this top is the pattern of the maxi dress so basically i have that maxi dress in this exact pattern but this is just a t-shirt with this pattern on it and it has a little bow on it and because i like this pattern so much hence why i got it on my maxi dress um, i decided to get this top and maybe this top would go with the nancy drew kind of style skirt that i was unsure about 
um, and for £12 um, I decided to pick it up because I just saw it hanging up really high and I was like that is a that is a top because, so I love this this pattern um love it so much to the point where i've got it on a dress and t-shirt and yeah it's like a really flowy fun summer dress and i like how it has a little um little like pat um bow here to hold it and just like a little hold there to show a little bit of boobage and it's really nice and for 12 pounds it looks very it's very good quality and um then after that i picked up one of these and this is kind of like a trench coat it's called a trench coat or a mac um and i'm gonna pick this up because i kind of like this i love this color it's kind of like the mustard yellow i'm loving this kind of um this kind of brown color at the moment and to the point where i got like a dress that was kind of like a coat which was kind of like it the other day um but it's basically makes me feel like i'm like nancy drew if you don't know who nancy drew is i'll put a picture up of her on the screen now but basically she was a character um but there was like a film made of her and books made about her um it's a character in a book she's basically a teenage detective um a girl a girl who's a teenage detective um and she wore this kind of style coat and it just feels like I'm wearing like a really like kind of London style coat so um, just like this and it like really long and you do it with a little belt and I just think it makes me look I love these kind of coats like I'm obsessed and for um, £18 you know I think it will keep me really cosy and I think it will go with a lot of kind of things that I own because that's kind of the style that I like um, and then when I was coming towards when my mum was about to pay, we saw a whole Disney section, and I hadn't seen any um, anything really other than the Disney style shorts, which I was talking about earlier. And um, so that's why I didn't pick anything up to, up to this point. Um, that was, else that was Disney. And then I saw the Disney section kind of like only had like fifteen pounds left of the budget, so I could only get like I could only get like um, two. Um, I only had £13 left of the budget, so I could only get um, £30 worth of Disney stuff. So this was, I picked out, I think I picked out one, two, three, four, I picked out five different tops. There was like a little like circular room of like um, different tops all the way around in a circle. And I just picked out five out of about eight tops that they did in a circle and I just said what like made my mum and dad vote in vote on two um to pick um for me to be able to buy. So we rattled it down and my mum and dad said they both liked this top so that was a definite. Um so it's basically like just this dumbo dumbo top and it has a little bit of a um bow thing so it's like a little bit of a belly top and um, a cut top and it's just dumbo um which I've never got before which is a little bit bright, a little bit pop of colour and for six pounds it was really cute and I thought I could pair it with some black jeans or some blue jeans and I loved them, loved Disney so it was not a bad idea. And then my mum and dad kind of um, swayed in different ideas. My mum liked this really black, um, this black one um, which had like a gigantic Mickey on it going like this. Whereas my dad liked this white one that had a quote on it from Walt Disney. And in the end I ended up picking up, picking my dad's um choice of the white one because I didn't really like how Mickey Mouse's nose looked on the black one that my mum liked I think it looked a bit like long and a bit weird whereas this one I think it was like again simple white tee and also I love this quote from Walt Disney I think it's my favourite quote quote that Walt Disney ever said um, and with my dungarees which um, I got from Disney that I was talking about earlier it matches perfectly um, so it just says it's kind of fun to do the impossible I also like the font of this quote and how like bold and thick the writing is um, and I just like, love how what it says and how it's on the white t-shirt and it's really simplistic and, and my mum actually ended up agreeing that this white one would be better than her black one with all the outfits that I got today. So for £6 I also picked that up so that's £12. And then what I was going about earlier putting back one of the long dungarees I put on my big denim, um, my original blue denim all in one at dungarees back because we found some ones some disney ones we saw these and they again are just like the classic um little denim things but this is striped white and denim blue but it has patches on it which you know i love a patch me love a patch look it's got disney patch on it um mickey patch on it it's got um some writing on it that says mickey mouse um 
and has little Mickey here and then down here it has just like his hands and this is a um, skirt like dress kind of version of dungarees but it was so nice and with that white t-shirt perfect and that is everything that I got from um, Primark today so I filled up my big big bags and uh, it was huge and I can't wait to go back and pick out some more stuff because Primark all in all is an amazing shop and if you have not been to the Birmingham one go there they have such a big range um, but one last thing I picked up which is maybe my favourite thing only because it was so fun but basically at Primark one of the many amazing things that they have is something called a custom lab and um for a kids t-shirt which is um ooh, i don't know what age from but up to, from an age to 15 years because i'm 16 i couldn't get a kids t-shirt because it only went up to a maximum of 15 years old i probably could have got away with it if i was a smaller smaller child like a smaller teenager like a small small build because i'm quite tall i wouldn't have got away with it but um a child t-shirt or they call it a child tea um a kid's tea was five pounds um an adult tee or an adult t-shirt was eight pounds and then you could also get these tote bags which um if you don't know what a tote bag is i'll put a um insert an image now um they also you could buy you could also do a tote bag which is three pounds and basically what you do is you go to this custom lab you get in a queue and you have three screens like almost imagine like a gigantic ipad kind of type thing and what you do is you press the adult tea, the kids tea, or the tote bag, whichever one you want, and you can design whether you want gray, a grey t-shirt or a white t-shirt, what size you want the t-shirt, and then you can decide what character, what Disney character, or Star Wars character, or um, Wreck-It Ralph character, or Mickey Mouse character, it's mostly Disney, like kind of Disney themed, um, or like Star Wars themed um, based character you want in the middle what background like what you want surrounding the character so do you want stars surrounding the character love hearts and then you also at the top you get to choose the slogan that it says and the font that it says it in and then at the bottom you get to write your name and also change the font of that um but i don't really like the whole idea of putting your name on a t-shirt i think it's a bit kiddie i think for anyone who 11 plus shouldn't really do that if you want to do that then obviously like no offence to you, I just wouldn't personally put my name on a t-shirt considering I'm 16 years old. But then I'm a big kid as in like, I love Disney though and my whole room's Disney so you could call me childish from, for liking Disney. But um, I just don't like the whole idea of putting my name on the bottom. So instead of writing my name at the bottom, because it lets you type your name, because obviously all, everyone's name's different, I decided to put a quote from whatever character I chose, choose in, chose in the middles, movie. So... I was finding it really hard at the beginning because it took like about 20 minutes to, to like half an hour to wait, maybe half an hour actually to wait in the queue that's how popular it was and then we got to a machine and at the beginning the whole um struggle i was having was whether i wanted a white t-shirt or a gray t-shirt because i have a lot of white t-shirts now um especially from all the clothes i bought today so me and dad started off saying gray and then we realized that the design and the characters and all that doesn't really look that good on a gray t-shirt so then we decided white and i got the size sorted and chose the color so that was out of the way and i knew what slogan i wanted at the top because i saw other people swiping across all the possibilities and i found the one i wanted to write so i knew the top slogan i just didn't know the most difficult thing for me was what background i was going to have to surround the character and the biggest problem i had was what character was going to be in the middle because obviously i'm a big disney fan which means i like everything to do with disney so i was kind of stuck between do i want chip the little cut of beauty and the beast in the middle do i want simba from the lion king because the lion king is one of my favorite films do i want stitch because stitch is my favorite disney character if i have to generalize it is my favorite character but i have thousands of t-shirts with him on it from primark already made and um, so i didn't really want another stitch one and then do i want a tig something from winnie the pooh because i'm obsessed with winnie the pooh at the moment and all the winnie pooh characters for the middle of the t-shirt looked so cute that i decided i'd got enough and um, winnie the pooh based things from primark recently and i hadn't got anything with chip on it so i decided to go with chip because i love chip i love the cup out of beauty and the beast he's so sweet um so i decided to go with 
Chip. And because Chip is from Beauty and the Beast, I had to think of a Beauty and the Beast quote. Now, I was going to get my phone out, but it was really busy and I was trying to be quick because lots of people wanted to sign them up and it was taking forever and obviously be waiting in the queue for half an hour i know how it felt having to wait for someone to finish doing there so you could use the machine so i tried to be as quick as possible so immediately what came into my head was taylor's oldest time and i think that suits because chip's mom mrs potts sings taylor's oldest time in the original movie as bal and the beast are dancing and then I also, if I hadn't said Taylor's, ta Taylor's oldest time, I would have said, off to the cupboard with you now, Chip, it's past your bedtime. But that one's more like, like generalised to Chip specifically, which would have been a little bit better, but I just generalised from Beauty and the Beast, from the Beauty and the Beast film. So I knew I wanted, so instead of writing my name, I wrote at the bottom Taylor's oldest time, and then I chose what font I wanted it in, and I like quite like old, curly, kind of like scripted fancy kind of um that, that style font so that's kind of why i went for this kind of font in the end um because i got to pick the font and then so i knew i wanted chip in the middle so i got chip put my chip in and the background you have to choose something to surround your main character in the background you don't have to but there's options so there was like stars swirls little love hearts um like squares so i knew i wanted a love heart because i love chip so there was either a big red love heart, a big black love heart, or a little like black and white like faded out shaded love hearts. So I decided, my mum said to go for the big, um, big black love heart. So in the end I went for the big black love heart, like this. So this is what this, I'm trying to hide the top, this is what the look like so far. And then I had to think of the slogans, so there was thousands of slogans. And me and my mum and dad were starting to have a big debate about the slogan. That's the last thing we needed to do and that actually became the problem in the end. Once I'd chosen my chip and chosen the character and got that sorted and settled on it because that was really hard for me choosing a character, just choosing one. It was a slogan that we were all like stuck on because my dad thought um, the slogan An Adventure Awaits suited the slo my quote that I put in below at Taylor's Oldest Time but I didn't really think that went and then the kind of common slogan that everybody used was something called something that was like dream dream something and my mum kept clicking clicking that one for me and I was like I don't want that one I don't want that one because that was the most common one I saw people choosing and I didn't want that and then I started to think well what kind of slogan sums up Beauty and the Beast and I thought well technically magic because you know magic allowed her allowed Belle to see the beauty in someone like beast magic allowed Belle to not listen to other people's perceptions on who beast was and judged him magic made Belle fall in love with beast and therefore break the magical curse Belle made her own magic by making this connection with Beast by being at the beginning afraid of him to falling in love with him and making him become a prince again and anyway when I was standing in the queue before I even chose Miss Chip before I even chose Taylor's oldest time and I saw a lady a woman and a daughter scrolling doing their t-shirt through all the slogans on the top I saw make your own magic and when only the character was the problem and I'd already actually chosen the slogan before my mum and dad kept trying to sw like change my mind and that became the problem I saw Make Your Own Magic and I immediately knew no matter what character I was going to go for Make Your Own Magic and even though I nearly changed my mind because obviously my mum and dad had their own opinions which is fine, like in the end I actually kind of like got them involved I actually ended up, shockingly enough, I made my own magic because in the end I let my heart and my head my heart decide because I saw that one at the beginning and I was like oh I definitely want that one and my heart led me back to that and in the end I got make your own magic so I put make your own magic on it and I created this t-shirt I created it and I get, again I chose the font for this for make your own magic so I kind of matched it to as close as I could to tell us all the time they're both not they're not exactly both the same font but they're both kind of like curly like disney kind of like style old fancy kind of like 
curly cute um, quotes. So I customised this whole top. I chose the character for the middle, I chose the heart, I chose the font and the slogan and I chose the font and the coat at the bottom and I'm so in love with it because it's what I made. I chose it and I will love and treasure this t-shirt for all of time, for Taylor's oldest time and it makes me kind of emotional you know because I just took a deep thinking and what you do is you customise it all and then you press checkout and a little receipt with your code um, goes to um, like comes out of the machine at the back on their side so obviously on the on the, their side of the um, till and they take it out and then you print for print pay for it there and then so it was eight pounds because I got an adult t-shirt and then they give you a little receipt which I have in the bottom of this bag I think no I don't more they give you a little oh I do they gave you a little um receipt like this so they give you two receipts actually they give you the one that comes out of the till but they give you the one that comes out of the machine that you worked on with your code with your code, your name, because you have to say afterwards your name so they know your name. So when you come to collect it, they're like Jade. And then you also write a number, a phone number. So that's like what I got. Look. There, I got the code, the white t shirt, adult tee, medium, eight pounds, and a barcode. And they have their own one, which is basically exactly all the information that's on here, but they it's like in sticker form. And they take that and they um, print it out and put that on the t-shirt and they print it all out um, and they add all the settings in. And then you write a number down, so they text you, they text whatever number you put in the machine. Um, they text you that number when it's done, when it's come to collect, and then you go and hand them this, they see what it says, all the information, and then they give you it. And it's amazing, you come collect your own t-shirt, and I have a custom t-shirt for life. I may have had to wait 20 minutes in a queue, but I have my own t-shirt that I made, and it is awesome. So, I think actually, considering we went to the Disney cafe, and I had waffles, I had waffles because basically I know at like Disneyland they do like um, Mickey Mouse shaped waffles um, and the last time I went to Disneyland was when I was like four or five so I don't remember anything anything at all of it which is really sad and I wish I was a bit older because I wanted to remember it because I love Disney um, but I always remember and I always know from seeing other YouTubers or all my friends that have been there that Disney waffles in Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey, in the shape of Mickey Mouse, is really popular. It's like one of the most popular foods at Disneyland. Um, so, the closest I could come to getting a Disneyland style type of waffle, I would take. So, when we went to the Disney cafe, that is one of probably one of my second fa the second favorite thing about the whole trip. Not about getting spent loads of money on, but about going to the Disney cafe. Um, Custom Lab was my favorite thing. That overruled the Disney cafe. Um, so I'm going to include now some um, photos of um, my waffles and my drink and my mum and dad's food. I'll just include it now. Um, but look how good they look. I know it's not like a, a proper like Disneyland waffle because I think the Disneyland waffles are much better than that. I'll include a, a photo of what a Disneyland waffle looks like. But it's as close as I can get and I loved every minute of it. It was the best time Ever when I came out of that Disney cafe and I came and collected my Disney, my custom T-shirt, I was the happiest girl in that. Actually, I, I got right at the end. Literally, I was, I was get, um, as me and my mum were walking through the till, was basically they had a whole row of sunglasses, and I recently lost my sunglasses, um, like very recently lost them, and I don't know where they are. Um, so I really need some sunglasses because I struggle with headaches anyway and in the sun I really don't want it to make it any worse than I already have because it's already really bad. I've still got it. I need to go to bed because I've got a terrible migraine at this point. But I said to my mum, I was like, mom, can I just get some sunglasses? I really need some and they had like tons and tons and tons. Um, so, you know those like round kind of geeky star ones 
while the kind of really popular ones that everybody has I'm trying to set a photo now of them um, well I kind of wanted them ones and I tried on loads of different ones but they sadly do not suit my face shape at all and I'm really jealous of the people that can pull that off so I have to wear kind of like big like these kind of star ones um, so I saw so these, tried them on and they are really good quality they're like metal um, and they like still kind of look a little bit geeky because they like have like this pokey out bit but I tried them on and I really like them and they have UV protection and for three pounds with a metal with metal like um metal like ends and I don't necessarily like the colour of the actual lenses, they're like already purple. I don't really like that bit, but apart from that, for three pounds, I'll have them. Like I said to my mum, can I get some? And she'd get these and she's like, Yeah. So for three three pounds, pick yourself a pair of sunglasses up from Primark because they have like literally hundreds of different types. Like hundreds, it must have been like two stacks like four enough two stacks four rows of them on both sides so like eight rows of some different types of sunglasses and so i picked up these ones because i really like them for three pounds so the last things i got from primark and in total i basically spent um, but in, i didn't spend in total my mum basically spent about 200 pound on me today so i'm so thankful to my mum i don't think she's gonna watch this but mama thank you so much i love you so much i'm very grateful um, of course I said thanks to her in person as well by the way just to let people know um, so yeah I really hoped you liked my Primark haul and a little bit of show the little bit of footage that I took of showing you around Primark the Primark um, and I really had an all in all a really good day but I think now I'm just going to end this video and if you really liked it smash the thumbs up button also subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you do not miss every time and any upload that I do because why would you want to um so guys I'm gonna go to bed now because I've got a terrible migraine and I feel very very ill so I'm gonna go to sleep but it's been a very stressful busy day so thank you so much for watching I love you all and I'll see you in my next video